Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we have a special guest with us, Elizabeth Lunsford. Good morning, Elizabeth. Good morning. How are now, you? I'm great. Now, Elizabeth <laughs> is the owner of J.R. Cheney Bottling Company right. right here in Warren County. And that's pretty special because, you know, the dairy industry has had some tough times over, you know, the course of the last several years. And yeah. Kentucky's decreased in the amount of dairy farm numbers, but our milk production is still really well. And you have a bottling plant right here in Bowling Green. <laughs> I do, yeah. It's it's definitely not a common thing um, for, for people to process their own milk. But um, at, at J.R. Cheney Bottling Company is actually the milk processing arm of Cheney's Dairy Barn. So um, we're just a, a separate company uh, where we take the milk from the cows at Cheney's and we bring it into our plant and we bottle it and process it, pasteurize it, and uh, put it into the containers that everyone um, can get at all the local Houchin stores and, 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 our, and around the Bowling Green area. We are so fortunate in South Central Kentucky that we can get a lot of these products locally. Mm -hmm. And I mean, those cows are raised right there on Nashville Road. Right, exactly, yeah. I mean, but they are they are bred, they are born, and they are raised and, and taken care of all right there. So, I mean, that's I, I, that's that's local if anything ever was. So, I, it we do, we, we, we are able to put a special amount of care into those animals from the day that they're born. I mean, healthy animals produce good milk, you know, nutritious milk. So, whenever we take care of them, they take care of us. And so, Dory, my cousin, my dad, Carl, the rest of my family, they, they pour into those animals um, uh, love and care, nutrition, um, the whole gamut to make sure that the, that the milk that we put on the shelves is going to last, it's going to taste awesome, um, and it's going to be something you guys are, people are going to want to come back for week after week. Now let's talk about the milk tasting awesome, because the <laughs> chocolate milk it has got to be my favorite. The strawberry milk, close second, yes. but chocolate milk is absolutely my favorite. And people ask, like... Why, why does it taste so good? Right. Well, you know, <laughs> the, I think that the main thing is that we have all jerseys. So um, of the herds in the United States, jerseys maybe make up 10, 15 percent of the herds in the United States, but they, they don't quite produce the amount of milk that the Holsteins produce, but the milk that they produce is going to be higher in butter fat, it's going to be higher in calcium, higher in protein, and so that really comes through in the milk. So we do not standardize milk as you would with conventional farms. So conventional milk is awesome. And so at the end of the day, I want everyone to drink milk, whether it's ours or, or it's someone else's. But what makes ours different is that we don't standardize, which means we don't take the butter fat down to be 3.25 for our whole milk. It is as the cows are producing it. So the, the negative about that is that it fluctuates year round. You know, in the winter, it's a little bit higher. In the summer, it's a little bit lower. But we, we do not we do not put the milk through any additional processes to, to get it down butter fat wise. So our milk will run between four, four and a half percent butter fat, which I think gives it a fuller, creamier flavor. And you know, milk from different cows tastes a little bit different. So the fact that we're 100% Jersey milk is really what comes through in that milk to make it taste different. Yeah, I think it makes it special. And I've even had calls and they say, you know, what I buy in the grocery store, I feel like they add water to it because theirs is so thick, but that's not the case. No, not at all, no, not at all. Um, ours is just really, it's fully leaded, um, which which is, you know, I think I, I personally really enjoy. I mean, our whole milk is my favorite. We probably sell half of it than we do the chocolate um, but the but the whole milk is definitely my favorite absolutely now where can people find mm -hmm. J.R. Cheney milk um, yep yeah, so the J.R. Cheney bottling company milk is going to be under the Cheney's uh, brand um, and it's all across Bowling Green and in all of the Crossroads IGA's um, any Houchins owned uh, grocery location a bunch of the convenience stores around Bowling Green we also have a lot of really awesome local partners like Van Buren's in, Mo in Morgantown, Boys Journal Store, Rich Palm Market, Gold City Grocery, um, and, and the Funky Bean in Bowling Green, Mariah's, uh, 643. I mean, a lot of really awesome places that have just jumped on board to support us. And, and I think they, they see in the end product the fact that our milk makes makes what they're doing a little bit better, whether they're using it for cooking or selling. So Absolutely. Well, Elizabeth, so proud of you and, <laughs> and the entire family for taking on this venture. But, and I know your passion. I know your passion for the animals and and the passion of getting that good product out there for everybody to enjoy and so we certainly appreciate that and what a great way to celebrate June is Dairy Month go out get some ice cream and some milk <laughs> while you're out there and enjoy dairy because it is so good yeah all right thanks Elizabeth thanks for watching if you have any questions make sure to contact us at your local extension office